Hello, Ryan Ace here, and I've just recently got me a new 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina, just the base model, nothing really uh, um, interesting there. But I hooked up not one, but two external monitors to it, and I'm using all three screens separately. And uh, I'm just going to make a little video showing you how I did that, just in case you want to do that. I know that was a big selling point for me when I was looking into buying the MacBook. Uh, a lot of people told me that the only way I'd be able to do it is if I got a 15-inch MacBook Pro, but I didn't want to spend that kind of money. So uh, thankfully, when I ended up getting the 13-inch, I tested and looked it around, and I figured out how to hook up two external displays to my MacBook Pro. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And here you have it, all three screens running live right now. The one on the left is an HP 19-inch monitor. The model number is W1907, and then in the middle we have the 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina. On the right side, we have a 24-inch monitor from Acer. So here's another look at the Retina MacBook Pro on the right side here. We have an HDMI cable going right over to this 24-inch Acer monitor. And that's that's really the simplest part of this setup. I mean, your 13-inch MacBook Pro will come with one HDMI output, and then you just got to find you a cable and run it to your monitor. And uh, the cool thing about Apple, with you know anything that you do with an Apple product, it just works. You plug it in, and then it works exactly... <laughs> how you want it to. Now there are some settings that you can go into and uh, adjust uh, the distance between the screens and uh, how exactly you want the mouse or the windows to go between screens and uh, it's 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 really cool and it works really well and it works just automatically. Say you're wanting to run another monitor like I have, you're going to have to buy some sort of adapter. You only have one HDMI outlet and you don't have any sort of DVI or VGA outlets just built into the computer. But what you do have are these two Thunderbolt display uh, output modules and those are really helpful. All you have to do is just do a Google search for Thunderbolt to HDMI or Thunderbolt to DVI or Thunderbolt to VGA uh, adapter and you will find something. Uh, a lot of places sell them really cheap. I got this one from Apple. It's a Thunderbolt to DVI adapter. It cost me about 30 bucks. I actually bought it with the MacBook and it works just great. Basically all it is, you plug this into the Thunderbolt and then uh, you, you, you get an adapter for whatever you want and I, I got the DVI. You plug your DVI into this and you plug the DVI cable the other side into your monitor and it once again it just works <laughs> just automatically and you'll have those same settings as you would on the first display. And Now I don't think that it's possible to have a third external monitor. Even though you have another Thunderbolt output here, you can't just get another adapter and then just plug in another monitor and have it work. However, there is a way to do that, and I'm going to cover that in another video. It's called Daisy Chaining. It's, uh, if you want to have more than this, as far as screen goes, I would, I would suggest going with the 15-inch MacBook Pro anyways. It would be easier, and you'd have a lot more uh, power to run those screens off of. Now, that's another thing I want to talk about. This does perfect. I'm running a 19-inch monitor um, and a 24-inch monitor and the retina display all on the highest settings and everything runs smoothly. There's absolutely no lag. There's no, it's not overclocking anything. It's, it's perfect. However, it, just, let's just say that we did want to, you know, go through the process of adding another monitor to this and running even more programs on that screen, it would probably get a little hectic for the little 13-inch MacBook Pro. So if you're wanting to, you know, just cover your <laughs> desk and screens, then uh, I'd go ahead and go with the 15-inch MacBook Pro or even an iMac. They also have the ability to run some external displays. As you can see, each different uh, monitor, you can, you can do whatever you want. You can have programs running on each screen and then have everything set up the way you want. So it works really nice, uh, better than I thought it would. So if you want to do this, make sure you just uh, look up that Thunderbolt 2 DVI or Thunderbolt to whatever adapter. And you well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, like, comment, uh, ask questions, and uh, subscribe. Thank you.